let's have a look at what exit ticket is all about so if we click on exit ticket we'll be asked if we want to stop the current activity this is something you will see quite often when you start a new activity we'll say yes and then straight away it takes us to uh, the response board and there are three questions which are asked with exit ticket the first one if we click on one we'll see what the question is and it's how well did you understand today's material so this is being sent out automatically to your students and they can simply choose their response according to how well they understood the learning in the particular lesson so obviously totally got it a through to not at all d they choose one and then you can see the responses by clicking on how did we do if we go back to the results table click on number two we can see that the question is what did you learn in today's class which is an open short response which of course they write themselves and once this is populated you can see what each individual has written you can show or hide their names and you can show or hide their answers until each one is completed that's really useful as a diagnostic for you and often I quite, I quite often use that after the lesson uh, to look through to see exactly what each student has um, come away with in terms of their learning and then the third one is a question which you the teacher can generate yourself so it says here please answer the te answer the teacher's question you can either verbally ask a question to your class or you can write a question on the board and obviously in the same way the students respond to that by writing their comments their response uh, with into the app and that's how you use exit tickets really really useful really informative and it's a good diagnostic to help and inform your planning